space, the final frontier. It has always been speculated that there is adventure and even life beyond our planet. From Sputnik 1 to SpaceX to the meme of Georgia A. Sukalos ranting about aliens on the History Channel, space exploration has fascinated us for as long as we knew it was possible. Some theories of alien life are dubious at best, and their purpose is more to excite our imaginations than anything else. But there are many mysteries from space that we continuously uncover. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at discoveries made in space. Yang Liwei The first strange story is of Yang Liwei. Yang Liwei was the first man sent into space by China. As a result of this mission, known as Shengzhou 5, China became the third independent country to send humans into space. It was on this mission that Yang Liwei heard some unsettling sounds. He recalled that the noises sounded as if they were caused by someone knocking the body of the spaceship, which neither came from outside nor inside the spacecraft. Understandably, this caused Yang some concern. He went to look out of the spacecraft's portal, seeking a reasonable explanation for the troubling knocking sounds. However, nothing could explain the strange sounds. After safely returning to Earth, Yang set about trying to find an explanation for the sounds with the help of top scientists and space experts. Professor Go Chu Hyang, an expert in space engineering at the University of Singapore, has speculated that the knocking may have been caused by something hitting the spacecraft, such as space debris. However, no one has been able to verify this. One of his colleagues, Wee Seng So, presented a different explanation, suggesting that the strange sounds could have been a result of expansion or contraction of the spaceship, especially since the temperature of the spaceship's exterior could change considerably within orbit. Interestingly, similar knocking sounds have been heard on other Chinese space expeditions, including ones taking place in 2005 and 2008. The fact that similar sounds have been heard on other Chinese space expeditions suggests that perhaps there is an issue, common to many Chinese spacecrafts, which is responsible for the sounds. Fortunately, there have been no major incidents that posed any danger on these voyages, meaning that the strange sounds were possibly nothing for the astronauts to worry about. Many people believe that space must be totally silent due to the lack of air or water particles for sound waves to travel through. However, if accounts by other astronauts are anything to go by, hearing sounds in space is certainly not uncommon. Other examples of sounds heard in space include a strange noise heard during a test flight for the moon landing mission in 1969, after the spacecraft had been cut off from radio contact with Earth. The unearthly sounds were described as space music, and only recently has a recording of the sounds been released to the public. Theories abound as to what could have caused the strange noises heard by Yang Liwei. From logical explanations to the more left-field possibility of alien forces trying to enter Yang's spacecraft. Yang is now a major general in China's Air Force and says he has never again heard sounds similar to those which he heard in space. Ultimately, we may never know what caused these mysterious sounds. NASA spots mysterious object in space a strange object has been sighted by NASA and likened to an empty trash bag, and, as surprising as it may be, it isn't the first discovery of its kind. An object that is several meters wide and seemingly lightweight has been seen floating in space. Current assumptions are that the object, which has been named A10BMLZ, is some form of waste material left behind from a previous rocket launch. Whilst it has not been determined which rocket launch has left A10B MLZ out in space, it has been concluded that the material is most likely a metallic foil. A10B MLZ is currently on an elliptical orbit, taking an oval path as opposed to a circular orbit. This means its distance from Earth drastically varies, from being only 600 kilometers away from our planet to being 538,160 kilometers away, which is 1.4 times as far as the Moon is from the Earth. 
This elliptical orbit can be skewed even more, however, due to the small mass of this object. The Sun emits radiation pressure, which interacts with A10B MLZ in such an influential manner due to the object's small mass. This results in this so-called trash bag being pushed around, outside of the course it would naturally follow, creating an orbit change many have described as chaotic. This spontaneity means we cannot predict the path it will follow. Numerous possibilities remain. The object could re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. A10B MLZ could continue its orbit indefinitely, or a number of unforeseen events could occur. The object was first seen by the Hawaii Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Telescope. This observation was then confirmed by the North Holt Branch Observatories in London, as well as confirming the sighting's validity. They also reiterated the surprisingly lightweight and large size of A10B MLZ and identified the unusual orbit. Other items have been seen within space and likened to plastic bags due to their sporadic movements largely influenced by radiation pressure. This discovery has piqued the interest of a greater number of people though, due to it being the first seen at a distant orbit. The Mystery of Tabby's Star Next up is the Mystery of Tabby's Star, more scientifically known as KIC 8462852. If you haven't already heard of this star, it's slightly larger than the Sun and about 1300 light-years away. What's even more exciting about the discovery of this star is that it's been known to randomly dim by up to 22% for as long as days at a time. No other stars have been known to do that and have only dimmed slightly if another planet was passing by and blocking light. If it can't be a planet in transit, then what could be causing the light to dim? Scientists have been in awe of this star and racking their brains to come to a viable answer to the intermittent dips in the star's shine. Some possible explanations consist of pieces of comets or destroyed planets. Of course, there are also more unusual possibilities such as an immense orbiting structure that is being built by aliens. Whilst some people strongly believe in those reasons, in 2017, experts got their hands on new research proposing that a ringed planet near Tabby's star could be the culprit for the bizarre light patterns. The ring shape would be able to cover a lot more light than a regularly shaped planet as it takes up much more surface space, so that became a very real possibility. The next question to tackle was why the percentage of dimming varies. Colombian astronomers played with the ringed planet theory and explained that the gravitational interactions would cause the ring to flap up and down, changing the amount of light. Although there are various theories, each one holds many problems, and we can't be certain that they are adequate explanations. For example, the ring would have to be large enough to block the light from a star larger than the Sun, which would be approximately three times the size of Saturn's ring. The issue that the possibility of the moving ring presents is that it wouldn't account for random dimming, only the periodic aspect of the dimming light. It's clear that at this point in time, we still have a lot of work to do before we're able to draw any conclusions about Tabby's star. What do you think? Could there be a super Saturn somewhere light years away? We may never find out in our lifetime, but it would most definitely be an interesting discovery. The oldest black hole in the universe. Many celestial bodies in the universe are old, but when scientists in 2017 realized they had found what could be one of the oldest black holes in the universe, they were understandably ecstatic. The black hole, ULAS J1342 0928, has a name just as big as its size. Astronomers were flabbergasted to find that the black hole, located millions of light years away, had a mass that's more than 800 million times larger than that of our Sun. Even more amazingly, the gigantic black hole reached this mass when the universe was only at 5% of its current age. The gargantuan ULAS black hole first came into creation a mere 690 million years after the Big Bang a very short time in the relative time of the universe. 
The discovery of such a massive celestial body may teach us more about black holes and their massive sizes. This may shine a light on how the conditions of the early universe changed to what they currently are today. The black hole is also paired with a nearby quasar, and the bright display of light also takes a new record for the furthest discovered quasar. The record used to belong to ULAS J1120-0641, which is a distant 13.04 billion light-years from us, and came into existence around 750 million years after the Big Bang. It's believed that at the centre of most, if not all, galaxies lies a supermassive black hole. These black holes are much larger than their standard-sized namesakes and can reach anywhere from millions to billion times the mass of our Sun. Studies in the past have developed the idea that these massive space vacuums create huge displays of light as they devour local stars and other matter. These events are believed to create what we know as quasars, which are some of the brightest objects in the known universe. Because of their incredible brightness, researchers and astronomers are able to pick up and detect quasar activity from some of the farthest points in the known universe, meaning they are some of the most distant objects we know that exist. Quasars that are further away are much older in age, and the older and further a quasar is, the longer it takes for the light to travel to Earth. Water on the Moon As scientists and researchers have continued in the push to investigate the possibility of humans eventually living on the Moon, a keystone question that has remained unanswered is the presence of water on the Moon. The Moon technically experiences day and night just like Earth, where half of the surface is being lit by the Sun while the other half is in shadow. However, the lunar days and nights are both around 14 hours long each, which, combined with the fact that the Moon lacks the thick protective atmosphere of Earth, means that water likely has a very small chance of surviving the over 400 degree temperature swing from night to day. And yet, against all odds, two years ago, water was discovered in the form of ice in the coldest and darkest regions of the Moon, where the Sun could not reach due to the natural formations of crevices and canyons in the Moon rocks, leading researchers to hypothesize that water could survive below the surface. However, the discoveries recently progressed a step further when researchers on the world's largest flying observatory, NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, also known as SOFIA, detected traces of molecular water on the surface within reach of the harsh sunlight. This means that water could be potentially much more widespread across the surface than previously thought. The water that was found was molecular water, which means that it is simply isolated water molecules that are spread too thin to form the liquid or ice that we are used to on Earth. Scientists don't know how the water molecules appeared on the surface of the Moon and how they managed to survive the harsh temperatures, but they speculate that micrometeorites that frequently crash into the Moon might have ejected the water molecules on impact, surrounded by glass-like remnants of the micrometeorites that protect it from the Sun. Scientists analyzing the surface of the Moon have previously found hints of possible hydration on the surface of the Moon, but were unsure as to whether it was actually water or the structurally similar molecule hydroxyl. However, the researchers on SOFIA were able to use their unique technology to observe a water molecule-specific wavelength, which no other spacecraft is designed to do in a small slice of the Moon. This creates a problem of determining how widespread these water molecules could be across the rest of the surface, as well as how it is formed, stored, and if there is any sort of water cycle with such a thin atmosphere. As much of a revelation as these discoveries are, they still leave many questions for researchers, discussing whether life on the Moon is possible in the near future, and much more research is needed to answer these questions. But what do you make of these mysterious space objects? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.